Low Flashpoint Fuel Solution for the Maritime Industry Existing Diesel Engine Currently, heavy fuel oil and marine diesel oil are being fed straight into the engine. The exhaust gas is discharged into the atmosphere, causing harmful emissions including nitrous oxides, sulfur oxides, soot and other greenhouse gases. Low flashpoint liquid fuel cooling and mixing apparatus installed on marine vessel. In the marine engine, LFL fuel is mixed with air. Hot exhaust gas exits from the top and flows towards the absorption chiller. Absorption cooling cycle produces cold water, which flows around the jackets of the ether and alcohol fuel tanks and the jackets of the mixing pipe before returning to the absorption chiller. For added safety, the tanks will also be filled with an inert gas, for example nitrogen. A diesel tank may be used interchangeably with LFL fuels. Three uses for the engine exhaust gas. Firstly, engine exhaust to power absorption chiller. The exhaust gas goes into the first heat exchanger, following which, the exhaust gas circulates in the hot coil and powers the absorption cooling cycle by supplying heat to the refrigerant. Cooling medium is produced as a result. Secondly, engine exhaust to power service space usages. After being routed through the hot coil, the exhaust gas is routed to the second heat exchanger for various purposes. This includes bathing, cooking, central heating and other common accommodation spaces and service spaces requirements. After such uses, the exhaust gas is finally discharged through the chimney as carbon dioxide and water. Thirdly, engine gas recirculated to the air inlet manifold. Part of the engine exhaust is fed back to the air inlet manifold. Fresh hot air is also fed to the air inlet manifold via the first heat exchanger. Medium pathway to and from absorption chiller. The cooled medium leaves the absorption chiller and is transported in the jackets to and from LFL tanks and to and from LFL mixing pipe. Depending on where the vessel is sailing, the cooling medium may serve to power an AC unit before returning to the absorption chiller. The cooled medium flowing through the jackets ensures the temperature of LFL fuel in tanks and mixing pipe is kept to under 5 degrees Celsius. Onboard fuel mixing system. Alcohol and ether component of fuel are mixed together in a mixing pipe system through a series of piping fittings. This includes check valves, flow indicators, solenoid valves and metering pumps. The check valves ensure one-way flow of the fuel. The flow indicators regulate the flow of alcohol and ether, while the solenoid valves ensure the right proportion of alcohol to ether in the desired fuel blend. <laughs>